Hey everyone, Adam here with another RimWorld guide. This one is a little more off the cuff as it's a rather small topic, but it is one I get asked often enough that I thought it was probably a good idea to go ahead and make a guide about it. So in this RimWorld guide, I'm going to talk about tainted clothing and the different ways to deal with it. In RimWorld, when a character dies, any clothing they are currently wearing immediately becomes tainted. You can tell an item is tainted by the T shown right after the durability percentage. By default, a colonist will receive a mood penalty if they wear tainted clothing. You can use some of the clothing rules I go over in my previous RimWorld clothing guide, link in the description, to make sure they never put these on though. However, there is an exception to this. A pawn with the bloodlust trait will not get the mood debuff for wearing tainted clothing. As of this video, this is the only trait in the game that does not receive the mood penalty. Both cannibals and psychopaths will not be happy wearing this clothing. Now, sometimes it can be worthwhile to force tainted clothing onto a pawn. Getting a tainted marine armor early game when pawns have super low expectations can be amazing, for example. Now, what do you do with all the tainted clothing you receive if you've ran out of bloodlusted pawns or you've not found one? Well, there are several ways to rid yourself of these. I want to first talk about the smelter, as this is the way to actually get some resources back from certain tainted pieces, namely the armor. To do this, you want to go to your smelter, click Bills, click Add Bill, click Smelt Apparel, then make sure you click Smelt and Not Destroy. I also usually go ahead and suspend the work order for now until I get it set up, as I don't want someone to run over and start trying to smelt something I don't want them to. Now that this is done, you want to click Details. Here on the right hand side, you want to uncheck Allow Clean Apparel. Once this is set, click on the Do X Times button and then change it to Do Forever. With this set, colonists with the correct job assignment will come over and turn any tainted armor into usable materials to use as you please. You will also want to set up a work order to completely destroy tainted equipment that is not smeltable. To do this, we're going to add another bill to the smelter. Only this time, we're going to choose Destroy Apparel. On this work order, we want to make sure to again uncheck Allow Clean Apparel. But also, very importantly, we want to uncheck Allow Smeltable. Setting up these two orders will ensure you get the most out of your tainted items while disposing of the useless ones. If you'd like, you can further optimize this and disable things you might want to wear despite the taint, such as early marine armors. If you don't have a smelter, you can also destroy tainted apparel at either a crematorium or even a campfire. Neither of these allow you to set an order to deal with smeltable items. The second way to get rid of tainted gear is to simply burn it out in the open. To do this, go to the Architect menu in the bottom left and click Zone. Then select Stockpile Zone. Drag a box large enough to dump all your tainted goods in, making sure that this is done in an area where a large fire will not cause any issues, such as stone or sand. Next, you want to click on the Stone Pile Zone you just placed and click the Storage button. Now click the Clear All button, then change the priority to Critical. From here, you will want to scroll down and click to place a check mark by Apparel. Be sure to then turn off Allow Clean Apparel. This will make it so colonists or animals that are set to the hauling job will load the area with your tainted clothing. Next, make sure the area is not in Home Zone by going back into that Zone menu and clicking Remove Home Zone, then deleting any Home Zone that's in that area. If you don't, your colonists will attempt to save the clothing you're trying to get rid of. Once all the tainted items are in place, simply equip a Molotov or an incendiary launcher and target the area, burning all of your problematic clothing away. The third and least involved option to get rid of tainted clothing is to simply let it deteriorate. Items left outside and unroofed are going to eventually decay to nothing. You can speed this process up even further though. To do this, simply make the stockpile zone we talked about earlier over some water. Items decay more quickly in RimWorld if left in water. I did also want to mention quickly that weapons as well as utility slot items do not get the tainted apparel tag. So if you have some enemies die with shield belts, feel free to strip their corpses and use the belts whether your pawns are bloodlusted or not. And that does it. Everything you could possibly want to know about tainted clothing in RimWorld. Hopefully with all these methods, you will know what to do with tainted clothing at any stage of your RimWorld playthrough. 
If you enjoyed this RimWorld guide and want to see more RimWorld tutorials on the channel, please let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment. Also, I have tons of crazy RimWorld challenge runs on the channel, so be sure to check those out as well if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.